This is the Fitbit Inspire 3, and it might just be the best overall fitness tracker ever made that most people probably won't buy. It's a reasonably priced fitness tracker that doesn't come with as many smart features as some higher end Fitbit models like the Versa 4 or the Sense 2, but it's still a capable all around performer and comes with good battery life, a bright screen, and enough fitness tracking capabilities to really nail the basics. It's an impressive watch that's available for a good price, but how does it compare to the previous model or other fitness trackers like the Charge 5? Well, let's find out. It comes with a sleek rounded design that can easily be removed from the band entirely or attached to third party bands, though alternate bands and clips are sold separately. It's available in a wide range of unique colors, so you can easily find a variant that matches your personal style. It has a stunning built-in display to view your important information, but I'll talk more about that in just a few moments. Like the previous model, it comes with two haptic buttons on either side of the tracker to navigate the interface and help keep the watch lightweight enough to wear over extended periods. Even more, it offers up to 50 meters of water resistance, which makes it a solid choice for water sports enthusiasts. In contrast to the Fitbit Inspire 2, it features a stunning AMO LED display that lets you view important fitness metrics in real time. Unfortunately, the screen is smaller than some other competitors in this range, but the display comes with a solid 124 by 206 p resolution that can consistently deliver a crisp, legible, and colorful image, even in bright direct sunlight. I also like that it comes with an always on functionality so you can conveniently check the time at a glance as needed. Although this feature tends to drain the battery significantly faster. It doesn't quite deliver class leading battery life, but it still comes with a 78 milliamp per hour battery that can reliably deliver up to 10 days of usage on a single charge which is solid for the price and should be adequate for most users. I also like that it allows you to customize a schedule for always on functionality so you can optimize battery life as needed and has a built-in ambient light sensor that automatically adjusts the brightness based on your lightning environment to conserve additional power. Like most other Fitbits, the Inspire 3 comes with several useful built-in sensors and comprehensive fitness tracking capabilities. It allows you to load up to six different exercise shortcuts onto the watch for convenience and you get 21 different sports profiles to accurately track your preferred activities. It doesn't offer a built-in electrocardiogram scanner, but it can accurately track basic fitness metrics, such as your steps, calories burned, distance traveled, and your heart rate throughout the day, along with more in-depth insights, such as your oxygen saturation or oxygen levels to help reduce your recovery time. Even more, you get sleep tracking with insights into the quality, all-day stress tracking with management advice, and a free six month subscription for Fitbit Premium, though you will have to pay to access these metrics after the trial. It also offers activity reminders to keep you active and automatic tracking for common activities like walking or running, but it lacks built in GPS to track your outdoor activities. In addition, you get a daily readiness score that monitors your energy levels to help optimize your workout performance, a smart wake feature that's enabled during the lightest stage of sleep, guided breathing exercises, an active zone minute score to view how active you are. It doesn't come with advanced smartwatch features such as onboard music storage or NFC support for contactless payments, but it's primarily designed to be an unobtrusive fitness tracker and you still get built-in smartphone notification support. It also comes with a useful companion app that's easy to navigate, which is ideal for entry-level users and it allows you to track more in-depth information such as your menstrual cycle, hydration data, or connect with other Fitbit users via the community tab. All things considered here, the Fitbit Inspire 3 isn't the most advanced smartwatch on the market, but it's a solid option that offers impressive all-around performance and battery life for the price. It has a stunning AMO LED display that consistently produces a crisp image, a lightweight and slim design that's comfortable to wear, and a solid number of fitness tracking features, so it's not difficult to see why it's been getting so much hype lately. The issue is, it stands in a weird place in the market. It's not quite as good as the Charge 5, which is only about $20 more with a similar overall package, and it doesn't have the smartwatch features to compete with other watches. So it's kind of a weird in-between, and I think a lot of customers will overlook it, despite it being a pretty great overall product for what it does. I think this is an excellent option if you want an inexpensive fitness tracker that can accurately provide some insights into your health. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments down below. For links to updated pricing on all the items mentioned, check out the description. If you guys learned something or find this video helpful, give the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and like short informative tech videos. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.